This is Economy Watch. What you need to know about New Zealand's economic life today. Brought to you by interest.co.nz. Kia ora and welcome to Tuesday's Economy Watch where we follow the economic events and trends that affect New Zealand. I'm David Chaston and this is the international edition from interest.co.nz and today we leave with news markets are waiting for some big earnings reports, especially from big tech in the US. They're waiting with a positive mood too. But first in the US, the Chicago Fed's National Activity Index rose for a second consecutive month in March, the first time that has happened since mid-2022. The result was more than expected and is the highest reading since November, building primarily on employment gains. When this index is positive, it indicates activity is expanding faster than its long-term average. And Canadian producer prices fell a half a percent in March from the same month a year ago, notable because it was the smallest fall since February 2023. Raw materials rose, only the second year-on-year rise in the same time frame. And the People's Bank of China left benchmark lending rates unchanged in their April fixing, in line with market expectations. The one-year loan prime rate, the benchmark for most corporate and household loans, was maintained at 3.45%, while the five-year rate, a reference for mortgages, was retained at 3.95% for the second straight month. The strong US dollar limits their ability to cut rates to provide local economic stimulation because doing so would sharply weaken the yuan, and they don't want that. Following a weak February, Taiwanese exports jumped in March to their highest level since July 2022 in an impressive performance. They also got a strong rise in export orders in March, although only at the upper end of what they've been getting over the past year. Although it is a minor improving trend, the EU consumer sentiment level in April remained deeply negative and well below its long-term average. And cocoa prices leapt to an all-time record high of $5,000 a tonne in early February. Three weeks later, they hit $6,000 a tonne. Two weeks after that, it was $7,000 a tonne. $8,000 a tonne came just a few days later. Then an accelerated surge began in earnest, hitting $10,000 at the end of the first week in April. And today, well, this price has reached $12,200 a tonne. Where to from here? As hard as it is on chocolate consumers, I hope the West African farmers are getting some long-delayed rewards there. The US Treasury 10-year yield is now at 4.63%, and up a minor one basis point from this time yesterday. And Wall Street is roaring today, with the S&P 500 up 1.3% on expectations of strong earnings reports and future guidance that is positive, especially from big tech companies. Tesla is likely to star in these releases, but for all the wrong reasons, however. Overnight, European markets all rose, led by London's 1.6% gain and trailed by Paris's 0.2% gain. Yesterday, Tokyo ended its Monday session up 1%, Hong Kong ended up 1.8%, but Shanghai fell 0.7%, a real outlier in yesterday's trade. Singapore ended up 1.5%, the ASX 200 finished up 1.1%, and the NZX 50 closed up a half a percent. The price of gold will start today sharply lower, down $61 from this time yesterday at $2,330 an ounce. And oil prices have slipped another 50 US cents again to just on 81.50 a barrel in the US, while international Brent prices down a dollar to just under 86 dollars a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar starts today up a quarter cent to just on 59.2 US cents. Against the Aussie, we're still at 91.8 Australian cents. Against the euro, we're a quarter cent firmer too at 55.5 euro cents. That all means our trade weighted index starts today at just on 69.1 and up 30 basis points from yesterday. And the Bitcoin price starts today sharply higher at $66,788, an almost a 3% gain from yesterday. Volatility over the past 24 hours has been modest, however, at just on plus or minus 1.9%. You can find links to the articles mentioned today in our show notes, and you can get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again tomorrow. Tomorrow.